Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So <laughs> I don't I don't have my extensions in today as you guys can see this is um this is my real hair. <laughs> don't get scared. <laughs> it's uh it, it it doesn't always look like this. Uh I this is gym hair. I look a little bit like a troll. I'm okay with it though because I did get a good workout so I'm fine, I'm gonna wash my hair today and usually it gets like this whenever I haven't been dyeing it for a good amount of time. You guys will see what I mean when I am going to install my extensions later in this video. As you guys can tell, there's not much volume going on here or well, it is a little bit volume in it but that is only because I've just put my hair down and just done this to my hair. It's very, very like typical Scandinavian hair. It's, it's very fine, it doesn't have any volume to it. So I will actually show you guys all of my tips and tricks in this video. God, can I just get some volume on paper? I don't know shit. I don't really treat my hair that well and that is why my hair is looking like this. So if you're, if you're here to learn something, and if you're here because you think that I, you know, take care of my hair, that is not, this is not the right video for you guys. I do a lot of backcombing, I do a lot of teasing, and it's not good for the hair. I, of course, I do like hair masks and stuff like that. I will get into that later on in this video, but I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't take care of my hair. I'm sorry guys. But so I will be starting by flat ironing my hair. Typically I would use a heat protectant, but I won't today because I don't know where it is. Always use a heat protectant. Why am I holding a makeup sponge? So now I'm just going to take this disgusting brush that I haven't been cleaning in a good while. And I'm just going to brush my hair like so. Now I am going to put in dry, dry shampoo in my hair, uh, but I will be doing that after I flat iron my hair. So we're gonna flat iron my hair first and then we're gonna put in the the um, dry shampoo. Wow, now it's flat. So um, yeah, this whole situation here, uh, we're gonna fix that later on. Um, but right now I'm just going to flat iron my hair and make it hella straight. I mean, it's kind of already straight, but we're gonna make it even flatter. So just take, I mean, I think everybody knows how to flat iron hair. It's not really rocket science. Um, and I don't do anything special. I just go in. Okay guys, so now I am just going to take this Batiste dry shampoo and I am just going to apply it in the like, in the middle here. However, I am going to try not to like drag it down further than like here because my hair gets super dry super quick if I do that. Hold on. Oh god. Now just put your hair down and just try to make it all even so that you don't have like any white spots in your hair. Okay guys, so we obviously took some oil from the hair with a dry shampoo because it just sucks up all of the oils, which is good. But the hair looks a little bit like dull and a little bit dry. So we will put a little bit oil back into the hair, but in the lengths. So I will be using Moroccan oil and the Moroccan oil, where is it, where is it, where is it, here it is, <laughs> the Moroccan oil body oil and this is just basically Moroccan oil but with a lot of other good oils in it. So I will be mixing these two and I will apply it to the hair. So I usually just like massage this in a little bit until I go in with the um, the um, hair grip powder. So whenever I go out to the club or whatever, that does not happen very often, but whenever I go to like events or whatever, when I really need my hair to stay in place all night or for a very long amount of time, I use this. And 
This is basically a powder that makes your hair... You know when your hair hasn't been washed in like three days? That is usually when your hair is the best to work with because it's it's kind of greasy but it's not really it has some product build up you guys know what i mean and this kind of gives you that effect so it makes your hair very very easy to work with and whatever product you put on there or whatever you do with your hair like teasing it or whatnot it will not move so what i do is that i do i'm gonna show you guys i take this and i go in like that and the it, it kind of feels a little dirty when you've applied it because it feels like it just feels like a lot of product buildup. That is the only way I can describe it, to be honest. And here my microphone decided to die. So I'm just going to flash you guys forward to where I install my Bellamy hair extensions. Now I will actually put in my extensions. So I'm just going to turn around so that you guys can properly see what I'm doing. Now before I do this, I just have to say that I don't need anybody to point out that my hair is two different colors because I know it is very very washed out and I'm going to dye it tomorrow again. So don't you, don't you guys worry. Okay, so first of all I do this. This will be my first kind of section with hair that I will be teasing and just so you guys know I will be teasing my hair with this ratchet uh, hairbrush because I obviously don't care I can't really find my comb and uh, yeah that's that so I'm just going to put on some hairspray and this hairspray is a Swedish hairspray so I don't really think that you can buy it anywhere else than Sweden maybe Norway or Denmark but it's definitely not available outside of Scandinavia. Okay, so this is what I do. Probably looks awful. And then I take the two clip weft and I just clip it down. Like so. And then the next section is for a three clip weft. Okay, so now we are going to put in the three clip weft. So we're gonna put some hairspray on. We're gonna tease it like this. And this is how I get the most amount of volume, guys. And it will also last throughout the entire night or whatever I'm doing. I always brush my hair out like in the end. So don't you worry if it looks a little bulky because we will kind of take that away like at the end of this video this is the thing with the hair extensions guys because i i always have them layered like i layer them myself so i gotta like i gotta like look at them and see um which one is the longer one because the longer ones goes down like like in the bottom of my head so i'm gonna put the three clip weft here down, let's see, yeah, down here, like so, like that. So you will get this volume weft if you buy the Bellamy Bugattis. Um, which is the set with the most grams. However, I only use the volume weft if I'm like doing something special, like when I take pictures because, or film, because it looks a lot better. I would say it looks a lot thicker and yes. So now I'm just doing this and then we're going to take the volume weft. Now, this is a little bit darker than the other ones, but... And it looks like this. It has two rows of clips. So, we're just going to take it and clip it down. Like so. Yes. So for the rest of the clips, I am just going to sit like this so that you guys can see 
properly what I'm doing. So now when I've been parting it like this, I'm just gonna keep going with my finger and just take away some more hair. Clip it like that. Yes, girl, that's a look for you. And all of that hair, put some hairspray on. And we're gonna tease it. And for this side, I will attach a four clip weft to my head. And as you guys can tell, it is layered. It is like, you know, I've made it so that it will fit my face. So it's like shorter here and then it just goes down there. So I will obviously put the shorter in the front and the longer in the back. I'm gonna put hairspray on. I am so sorry guys that this tutorial is not more glamorous, but you guys were asking about this and this is how I do it. So um, I'm probably doing a million wrongs in this video, but I don't really care. So I'm just gonna put another four clip weft here. Like this. And just over the other one. Like that. Okay, so now I am up here. I'm almost done. We're gonna tease a little bit more. This is probably the place on my head where I tease the most because this is where it cannot go flat. Okay, so now I'm just taking a three clip weft. And I am applying it to my head, like that. And like I said, we will brush it through um, later. So, so now I am going in the middle, I guess, and I am just going to spray like that. And then I'm gonna tease it just a bit, not a lot. And then I'm just going to spray it a little bit more. And then I'm going to put the final two clip weft in the middle. I just teased a little bit, just the teeniest, tiniest bit, not a lot. Apparently my camera stopped recording, but anyway, so I'm just going to put it right in there. And then we're just going to flip the hair over and we're going to fix all of this. Okay, so while I am teasing this section right here, um, I am going to heat up my curling iron and this is the Cera wand and it is, I'm not sure how many, like how thick it is, but I will leave all the info down below so that you guys can check it out. I was first introduced to this one in makeup school when I went there and they were so, so, so good. So I actually ended up buying one for myself and it is so, so good. It just keeps your curls curled for so, so long, guys. It is like, I've tried so many different um, curling ones and, you know, hot rollers and just, just everything, just about everything. And this is probably the best the best that I've ever tried. Okay, so now when that is heating up, we are just going to put some volume in the back here. Putting hairspray on, God, I really hope that I don't spray like on the camera lens. I gotta check that. Oh God, this is not good for my hair. Literally abusing it. Yes, bun, come through. This bun is no joke. I could hide stuff in there. Okay, so that was not a lot. Okay, so now you will look even more like a troll than you did before, but that is okay. I 
Okay, so now you just brush it out a little bit. Okay. Looks good. Okay, so I think that our curling iron has um, heated up. It definitely has. So now I'm just taking my curling iron and I will be curling um, like this. And then just like twist it so that you, or like don't do, okay, so don't do like the twisting thing, kind of like try to make it flat around the barrel. When you twist it, it looks a lot like uh, Alice in Wonderland. I mean, if you like that look and if you're going for that look, then do it, but I'm not really trying to go for that look. Okay, so now we are doing that. and. And if you can, try to hold the curl in your hand for a couple of seconds or minutes. And if you have the patience, it is even better to like curl them up like this, like so, and like attach a bobby pin to them. And just let the bobby pin sit like that for a couple of hours and your curls will um, hold up all night. So let's take a new section here. So as you guys can see here, it's very self-explanatory. I'm just curling my hair and then I will run my fingers through the curls. So I will flash forward until I'm done because this will take me at least 30 minutes. So I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> as you guys can tell, the curls are already a little bit less curly, which I love. I like that kind of like beach look. Um, so yes. So for anybody wondering, I do not ever use hairspray on my hair extensions. Um, I try to basically avoid that completely. I mean, obviously when you put hairspray like on the top of your head to like keep the volume, some hairspray will end up in your hair extensions also. But um, I'm, I'm just really trying to avoid it because they get pretty dry. So yes, now for my little secret or well I don't really know if it's a secret I know a lot of people do it but as you guys can tell here um, you know it doesn't look very it doesn't look very full around here around the edges I will also lay down my edges with a toothbrush and some hairspray but before I do that I am going to fill in my edges and I know that that I know that that sounds very very weird I actually made my own eyeshadow that I accidentally smashed in the floor um, I don't know when that was but this is usually the color that I go for when I put it like in my roots but I really don't think that it will work today because my hair is so like light brown reddish right now so but this is usually the shade that I am using but I don't really know what kind of shade I can use this time I have this little quad from Huda Beauty this is the warm brown obsession if anybody <laughs> wants to know um, and I will I think I will be using this shade right here. Um, I'm gonna try anyways. What I do is that I take a brush that looks like this. This is like a uh, one of those like toothbrush brushes and I will take a little bit on the brush like so. And I will just simply lift up. Do you guys see that? How, how like my hairline is so like, I, I, I can't even. Um, so I'm just taking it and I am applying it. And that will basically fill it in. Can't believe that this color actually was a perfect match. That's weird. Okay, so you can go a little bit overboard with this. Like that. Do you guys see that? That is so, so, like, it's so smart. I can't even. Anyways, now I will take this brush and I will spray some hairspray on it. And I will just lay down this little... Um, this little hair here. I usually use a toothbrush, but I can't really find it here 
right now, so I'm just going to use this. So I just put some hairspray on it, and you can wash these. They don't really, like, you won't be ruining them by putting on hairspray on them. Like that, and then you just pull it down like so. Like that! I think that I'm happy with that. Anyways, this was almost better than using a toothbrush, guys. This was so good. So yeah, this is how I do it, guys. It's not very complicated at all. I'm not very, you know, I'm not very good at hair. I'm not a hair person, I would say. But I feel like I kind of, I kind of make it work anyways. So I've been wearing extensions since I was 15. And I'm turning 24 in March now. 1st of March, if anybody wants to know and all I can say is that if you take care of your extensions you can wear them for a year if you're really really like taking care of them and by that I mean that you should treat them with love no you should treat your extensions the way you treat your own hair now that really doesn't like I I kind of treat my extensions better than I treat my own hair not gonna lie, but the thing that you always need to know is that hair extensions will not get any natural oils, so they will most likely all, if not always, dry out. So my top tip to anybody with hair extensions is to invest in a good hair oil. I always use Moroccan oil just because it doesn't build up in your hair. Well, it builds up after like three months, but I feel like after two months, you kind of need to wash your extensions anyways, but you shouldn't wash them more often than once a month. Now, I actually made a little tutorial for you guys how I take care of my hair extensions. These are uh, freshly bathed. <laughs> I just wash them and they are super shiny, they're super smooth and they feel like new hair extensions and I have been wearing these since November. Usually I get new hair extensions uh, after five months anyways because I just feel like um, you know, I'm affiliated with Bellamy, they want to send me hair, and that's, you know, even before Bellamy, even before sponsorships, I bought myself, you know, I splurged and I bought myself some new hair extensions um, every fifth month because I just felt like I loved the feeling of new hair and... Um, usually after five months they look a little dry and they feel a little dry too, so... I mean, you can obviously cut them and that will make them feel like new hair extensions, but um, a lot of hair masks and a lot of moist, I hate that word, I'm sorry, but um, a lot of oil. Uh, but try not to use pure oils like argan oil, like pure argan oil or jojoba oil or something like that. Sure, the extensions and the hair loves all of that oil, but you will get so much product build up that it won't look good. It will look greasy and they will get tangly and... Tangly? Tingly? No, tangly, I think. They will... Uh, yes, tangly. <laughs> However, I will switch over to voiceover because I just feel like that is a little bit more informative. So, enjoy! So the first thing I do when I need to wash my extensions is that I put them in a hair mask before I wash them. And this hair mask is seriously so, so good for hair extensions. I mix two deciliters or one cup with pure coconut oil, one deciliter or half a cup of conditioner. And I love any conditioner from the Aussie brand, so that is usually what I use. And I sometimes also crack an egg in there. Just because eggs are, believe it or not, great for both the skin and the hair. I then let my extensions be for as long as I can. I then wash them out with a shampoo that won't dry them out. I would prefer a shampoo from a salon over a drugstore shampoo, but like I said earlier before, I love the Aussie brand, so that is what I will be using today. And I can promise you guys that I am not, not sponsored by Aussie. I wish. And as you guys can see, they bleed like crazy. And that is a very common thing with red hair. 
every time I wash my extensions, they always come out, you know, one or two shades lighter than before, just because they lose a lot of color in the washing process. Sure, you could rinse them with cold water, but you will not be able to get all of the oil out with cold water. So you win some, you lose some. I don't mind changing it up a little bit. So, so now I'm just washing all of the extensions with the shampoo. And like I've mentioned in my previous hair extension videos, please do not rub the extensions like crazy when you're shampooing them. Just like lightly massage the shampoo in. Now I do shampoo them twice just to make sure that I got all of the oil out. So this takes some time. So get yourselves a chair. That is my recommendation because I always do that and that makes my neck and my back hurt a lot less. I then just squeeze them in a towel to make sure that they are damp and I am then going to mix up some conditioner and some semi-dye. Uh, some red semi dye with some Moroccan oil in it. Guys, I actually had someone that worked for Moroccan oil tell me that Moroccan oil's hair masks are basically only rich hair masks with the actual Moroccan oil, like oil in them. So you can definitely make your own and save some coins. I'm so cheap. <laughs> so I am using the Revlon Nuji Color Cream in 600 again in this video, uh, which is a much more warmer semi-dye. Usually I use the 500 one, but I have really been into the kind of, you know, warmer orangey type of hair color recently. So yes. So you just mix all of that up and apply it to your extensions. And for anyone who doesn't need a semi-dye every time they are washing their extensions, just apply a hair mask of your choice instead. And you can obviously use your hands. I just wanted to look all professional here. So yeah. Um, obviously when you're using a semi-dye that stains, you should use gloves. And then just rinse them out with some lukewarm water and finish it all off with some ice cold water. Next, I'm just gently massaging in some more Moroccan oil into the damp hair and that will make the hair so soft, guys. It will look super shiny and it will lock in some of the moist. So I definitely recommend doing this. I then just let it all air dry and that usually takes around three to five hours depending on where they are air drying. And when they're fully dry, I just put the clips and the upper part of my extensions between the doors of my bathroom cabinet. This way I can flat iron my hair properly using both of my hands. I am actually professional enough to use a comb here just so that I get the most smooth and shiny results possible. And I'm finishing it all off with some more Moroccan oil, focusing mostly on the lower sections of my extensions. And yeah, as you guys can tell, they now look and feel like brand new extensions.
also something that I have to kind of like mention is that uh, whenever you have been dyeing your hair extensions and you try them on and let's say that they are too dark uh, your hair extensions will always lighten up a bit whenever you apply heat to them. So let's say that your hair extensions are too dark for you. You can actually like flat iron them a lot so that they will lighten up. I don't recommend that, but that has actually been saving me a lot of times. So I'm just putting it out there. It's not good for the hair at all. But um, it, like I said, it has been it, it it's been saving me a couple of times. So, and if you guys decide to buy hair extensions from Bellamy, then please use my coupon code if you want to. It is fluke of makeup, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've been trying Foxy Locks. I've been trying Lux Hair. I've been trying Luxury for Princess. I've been trying a lot, a lot of different hair extension brands, and I can honestly say that, like, I know that I'm affiliated with Bellamy. I know that you guys are probably thinking well she has to say that no they're not paying me they're not paying me to say anything they've never paid me to do a video never so um i just have to say that they're honestly the best hair extensions i have ever worn so yeah with that being said <laughs> we did it we did it guys i really hope that i got everything in this video now because i wanted this to be so so informative but I probably forgot something and if I did I will leave it down below guys as per usual if you like this video then please give this video a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber yet then please subscribe to my channel and if you're a subscriber then please turn on my post notifications I know I haven't been mentioning this in my earlier videos but I guess I have to do it now because my notifications aren't really popping up whenever I'm posting so yeah that sucks but yeah I will see you guys on the next one Mwah. bye guys now I'm on the outside.